Cookies, Max, but I made these for Grandma. They're her favorite no-bake, crunchy oatmeal raisin cluster cookies. I promised I'd bring her a whole basket. I can't wait to see Grandma's face when she tastes them. Cookies are for Grandma. You remind me of the story of Little Red Ruby Hood and the Big Max Wolf. Remember the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Well, it's exactly the same, only different. Want to hear it? Okay. Once upon a time, Little Red Ruby Hood set out to Grandma's house to take her a basket of cookies. I hope Grandma likes my cookies. I made them myself. Little Red Ruby Hood couldn't wait to give Grandma her cookies. But on her way to Grandma's house, she met the Big Max Wolf. Cookies! I'm sorry, but these cookies are for Grandma. I'll share my cookies with you another time. La 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 It was a long way to Grandma's house. So Little Red Ruby Hood stopped to rest beneath a tree. Mmm, mmm, these cookies look so good. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> these cookies are for Grandma, although she can share them if she likes. Little did Red Ruby Hood know that the Big Max Wolf had followed her. He was determined to get those cookies. Cookies! I told you, these cookies are for Grandma, not for the Big Max Wolf. Even though Little Red Ruby Hood was in a hurry to get to Grandma's house, she couldn't pass by the playground without stopping for just a little while. I'll be right back. Whee! But the Big Max Wolf was up to his old tricks again. Little Red Ruby Hood was just as tricky. for Grandma! <coughs> <coughs> Little Red Ruby was happy to leave the Big Max Wolf in the dust. But what she didn't realize was, the Big Max Wolf knew a shortcut to Grandma's house. La 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 la. What's in the basket, Red? Cookies. 
They look like the kind of cookies grandmas would love. You're right. Well, you'd better get on your way. Right again. Bye. Little Red Ruby finally arrived at Grandma's house. She could hardly wait to give Grandma her cookies. Hi, Grandma. I made you some cookies. Want to try them? Grandma, what funny-looking ears you have. Grandma, what dusty little hands you have. Cookies! <gasps> And he ate up all the cookies, and Grandma didn't get to enjoy a single one. You don't want to be like the Big Mac's wolf and eat up all of Grandma's cookies, do you? I didn't think so. Okay, I'm off to Grandma's house with my cookie basket, just like Little Red Ruby Hood. See you, Max. No Big Max Wolf here. No Big Max Wolf here. Wee! Good. All my cookies are still here. I'll just arrange them nicely so that Grandma sees them at their best. Perfect. Hi, Grandma. I brought a whole basket of delicious no-bake crunchy oatmeal and raisin cluster cookies for you. Just like I promised. Want to try them? <laughs> Grandma? What dusty little hands you have, Grandma. Hi, Ruby! Oh, you brought the cookies! Grandma! But how can there be two Grandmas? Cookies! Max! Or should I say the Big Max Wolf? <laughs> well, there's plenty for everyone. Thanks to you, we can all have some of your delicious cookies. Max and the Beanstalk. Yummy! Mm, beans! Good and good for you. What's the matter, Max? Beans! Try them, Max. They're delicious and crunchy and green. Packed with 10 essential vitamins and minerals. Vitamin A, B, C, D, E, and K, W, Q, X. Hmm. And of course, iron. Beans. And you never know. They might just be magic beans. Don't you know the story about the magic beans? Okay, the story is called Max and the Beanstalk, and it goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Max who had a smart, gorgeous, thoroughly delightful big sister named Ruby. Ruby was hungry, so she turned to her little brother and said, I'm hungry, Max, but the cupboards are bare. Take these coins to the market and get something to eat while I set the table. So Max left for the market with the coins and his favorite red rubber elephant. Make sure it's good and yummy! When Max got to the market, there were so many yummy fruits and vegetables, he didn't know which to choose. Hello there, Max. You looking for something good? I've got just the thing for you. Beans. 
but not ordinary beans. These beans are magic. The market owner told Max about all the wonderful things that would happen if he planted these beans. Well, Max, because you're my friend, and only because you're my friend, I'll let you have these fabulous, incredible magic beans. But it'll cost you those three coins and your red rubber elephant. The red rubber elephant was Max's favorite toy, so he wasn't sure. They're magic beans, Max. Beans! Good choice. Hum, 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 hum. Whatever yummy food Max comes home with is sure to taste even yummier on this beautiful table. I'm so glad you're back, Max. What did you get from the market? Beans! <gasps> you spent our money and traded your favorite red rubber elephant for three little beans? I think you've been tricked, Max. There's no such thing as magic beans. Beans! Later that night, while everyone was asleep, Max heard a strange sound. Brave Max decided to investigate. Max had to find out what that sound was. Was it the wind? No. Was it a dream? No. It was the magic beans. They had grown into a great big giant beanstalk. Beans. The beanstalk grew up and up and up. So he decided to climb to the top to see what was there. Max left a note so his pretty sister Ruby wouldn't worry. Max climbed and 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 climbed right up into the clouds. And there he saw the most wondrous sight, all the yummiest food imaginable, and the best toys, too. Just enough room left for a brand new red rubber elephant. Max couldn't wait to show his beautiful sister Ruby. I hope Max is okay. Max! <laughs> You're I can't believe you found all this food. I guess they were magic. Beans! And they both lived happily ever after.
thanks to Max's magic beans. So you see how wonderful beans can be? Max! Where are you going? Max! What do you think you're doing? Beans! The Froggy Prince. begin rehearsals for their next great play. <laughs> Good announcing, Ruby. So, what play are we going to act out? Hmm. Well, it has to have a pretty princess in it with a sparkly tiara and a ruby red gown. That's you, Ruby. And it has to have a beautiful queen. With a crown full of jewels and royal purple robes. You'll be the queen, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, it has to have a handsome prince. That's Max! <laughs> okay, now we know who's going to be in the play. We just need a story to act out. Froggy! Ribbit! Max! Don't you want to help us pick out a story? Froggy! You can play with your froggy friend later, Max. Right now, we need you to be a prince. Wait a minute. Froggy? Prince? <gasps> That's it! We can perform the Frog Prince! Of course! Why didn't I think of that? You know that story, don't you, Max? <laughs> okay. Let me tell it to you so you'll know what part to play. Once upon a time, there was a very pretty princess named Princess Ruby. That's you, Ruby. One day, Princess Ruby was playing with her favorite golden ball right beside a stream. By mistake, the ball bounced out of her hands. Oh! Oh! And fell right into the stream. Oh, no! I can't reach my golden ball! Help! Help! Oh, how I wish a handsome prince would come and save my golden ball! Then, Princess Ruby heard a strange sound. Ribbit! What's that? Ribbit! Well, you're not exactly a prince, but can you get my ball for me? The frog said he would get Princess Ruby her ball if she promised to stay and play with him. So, Princess Ruby agreed. I promise. Ribbit! The frog got the ball for the princess, but when he gave it back to her, she was so happy, she completely forgot about her promise. Thanks! Bye! <laughs> she ran back home to her castle and left the frog behind. Ribbit. The frog went to the castle to remind Princess Ruby of her promise. Queen Louise answered the door. Who's there? Froggy! Ribbit. Oh, hello, little frog. What are you doing here? The frog reminded Princess Ruby that she had promised to play with him if he saved her golden ball. A promise is a promise, Princess Ruby. A good princess always keeps her promises. Okay, Mother. 
So Princess Ruby went to play with the frog. They played together all afternoon. They played catch. <laughs> and leapfrog. And they even had a royal tea party. was the most fun either of them had ever had. Before they knew it, the day was over and they had to say goodbye. Goodbye, little frog. Rip it. But the frog didn't want to go. So the princess said, I'll come and play with you tomorrow and I'll bring my golden ball too. Rip it. The frog asked if she would keep her promise this time. Of course I will. Ribbit. And just to prove it, Princess Ruby sealed her promise with a princess kiss. And to her surprise, <gasps> the frog had turned into a handsome prince. The kiss had broken a spell that the prince had been under for a very long time. Ribbit. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. What a great story, Ruby. I can't wait to act it out. Me too. What about you, Max? Are you ready? <laughs> Yay! Announcing the next great play by the world-famous Ruby Loo players, The Frog Prince. Featuring the princess... Played by Ruby. And the queen, played by Louise. And last but not least, The Frog Prince, played by... Froggy! Froggy!